So I wanna give a huge shout out to my buddy Chuck who gave me the idea for this video. And Chuck is a teacher, he's a parent, he is a comic book collector, and I think he is also a person that thinks about the future of our hobby. And so his question to me was, Reggie, what can we do to actually get children interested in comics? And so I've been doing some experimentation of my own with my two children. I've also been thinking about this and in this video, what I hope to do is to offer you some practical tips to getting kids interested in comics. And what I'll offer up is that I'm not going to have all the best ideas. I'm gonna give you five practical tips that maybe you can leverage, but I'm also going to encourage you to leave some recommendations down in the comment section because there could be some golden nuggets that you can leave behind that someone else may benefit from. So if you have ideas, leave them in the comment section. And with that said, let's get to the video. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector. And I wanna welcome you to another one of my videos. As you heard in that brief intro, my goal is to offer up five practical tips for getting kids interested in comics. Without any further ado, let's get to the first tip. Tip number one is to leverage the movies and the TV shows to get kids interested in comics. And I should probably say adolescence because the movies and the TV shows can be filled with some violence and some other things that potentially you do not want to expose younger children to. So adolescence might be where you want to use the movies and TV shows, but I think it's up to every parent out there to decide where they want to draw that line. And I will be offering up some, some things for those of us that have younger children. And my children are pretty young. They do not watch the movies, but I do have some other things that I do to entice them, to interest them in comics. At the end of the day, both Marvel and DC are putting out some really great products in many ways on the big screen and on the small screen. And so the thing is, use those properties to get their interest up, to get them interested in the characters. And hopefully over time, you can introduce them to some of the, the core material that drove the creation of the movies and the TV shows. The second tip is to make use of apparel. Just paper their rooms with comic book stuff. And what I mean by that is there are bedding sets that you can get featuring great comic book characters. There are t-shirts that you can get. There are shoes. There are little capes and masks that you can get for your kids to get them interested in superheroes. And because every little kid in many ways and every adult for that matter is wearing a mask right now, so why not get them some branded superhero mask? Again, to kind of give them that immersive experience that piques their curiosity. And I know I do it with my little ones where, you know, we do things for them with like t-shirts and, and stuff like that and the capes and also, you know, other apparel that, you know, prompts the question of dad, who is that? And I remember distinctively having several conversations with my boy over his socks because he had a set of socks that featured Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, and also Spider-Man, uh, Superman, and also Batman and Green Lantern. I think Green Lantern was in there as well. So we had some wonderful conversations using the socks to plant the seeds, to kind of sort of brainwash him and expose him, it's not brainwash, expose him to comic book properties. Tip number three is to use toys. I actually get some brownie points from the wife because on a Saturday or a Sunday, I will take the kids out of the house and we'll go to Target. And we will literally walk up and down the aisles at Target looking at different toys, spending, of course, a nice amount of time in the aisle where the Marvel and the DC toys are located. And my boy will ask a lot of questions about the different toys that he finds on the shelf. I mean, that is how I initially exposed him to Incredible Hulk and Spider-Man 
Batman and, and Black Panther, et cetera, et cetera, because these toys were literally on the shelf. And we, of course, buy a lot of these toys for Christmas and birthdays and things like that. And one of the really cool things is that my boy, for example, makes the connection when he is in his toy room playing with Doctor Strange, for example, and he comes into the comic book room and sees a Doctor Strange comic hanging on the wall, he is making that connection between the toy that he plays with as well as what it is that dad is interested in. And behind me is the Mark Bagley connecting variant. And one of the things that my boy loves to do is to have a toy and come into the room and try to find the mutants in the six panels that are behind me. He spends a lot of time looking at that mural because there are a lot of mutants on it. But again, one of the big things is to leverage something that they are interested in, that being the toys, with something that we are interested in because they will make that connection. And that connection, I think, is vital to getting them interested in the source material. Tip number four is to, of course, use the cartoons. As I alluded to earlier in this video, I think that the movies and the TV shows may be best for older children, but there are a lot of really great resources that are out there for younger children as well. And one of the ones that readily comes to mind is the Lego movie, especially the Lego movie with Batman. That thing is incredible and I cannot tell you how many times my children actually watched it. I alluded to this earlier as well that my boy knows who Groot is and he knows who Groot is because he actually watches the Guardians of the Galaxy cartoon. I think it's on Disney, but it's really cool because they are able to watch things that are appropriate for their age and again, see the connection between what they're watching and what it is that dad is doing here in the room. And it is honestly a wonderful thing where more and more and more my boy and to some degree or another my girl, they're starting to make those connections. And sooner or later, sooner or later, we are going to get them into comics. The fifth tip that I'll offer up might not be an obvious one, but it's an important one. And it is to not push. I think that it's really important that we don't push children too soon, that we allow them to find this hobby in a, in a method that actually makes sense for them. We have a desire to overwhelm them and to just immerse them in it, but we also have to recognize that if we push too much, they will push back and they will potentially rebel. And so we have to give them space. We have to find ways to, again, as I've alluded to in this video, connect what they might be interested in with what we are interested in and let those connections be made and kind of organic versus forcing those things together. One of the things that I do is if I have comics in here that I don't really want or aren't worth anything outside of just, you know, the, the story, if you will, I'll sometimes give those comics to my children and I make a big distinction between their comics and dad's comics, but by giving them their own comics and bags and boards, it allows them to at least touch them and to flip through the comics and to experience the different images and the art and the colors that are contained in a comic book. And I can't tell you how many times I've walked into my kid's toy room and seeing them flipping through a comic. It is actually pretty cool. The not so cool part is when I come back later on and find that the comic has been torn apart and spread across the room. That is not a cool thing, but again, I am allowing them to experience these comics because let's face it, many of us tore up a lot of comics when we were younger as well. With that said, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And again, I want to invite you, if you have other tips and pointers that you want to throw out there, leave them in the comment section because somebody will benefit from your advice. If you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care.